Hey y'all, I'm back. So we're gonna find out what's going on with MS Glenn and Kwame. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and hop right into it. Oh, uh, before I hop into it, guys, thank everyone for who has purchased a uh, personal reading with me. The rates are still $25. It will not stay that rate for long. So get it while the rates are at the rate that it is because I charge $70 for my personal readings, guys. I'm giving them out for $25 for a limited amount of time. So if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, guys, be sure to reach out to me via email. That information is going to be in the comment section below, as well as my two other websites, guys, where you can pick up some spiritual supplies and get cute, okay? Because I got a lash line, guys. And like I said, pick you up some spiritual goodies and get cute at the same time, okay? All right, so... Let's see what's going on with this karmic and masculine. All right. Four of Cups. Mm. So somebody's bored. Somebody is bored in a connection. Somebody is becoming uninterested. I'm getting depressed. So this somebody's depressed. It's the masculine. The Emperor. This is very depressive energy right here. And then we got the Emperor. This masculine is sad. He's very, very sad. He's ready to leave. Eight of Cups. Look at this. Five of Cups and a Ten of Swords. This masculine ready to go. He's depressed. It's extreme. He's really ready to walk out on this karmic. He's full of regret. I'm getting guilt. Um, and there is an ending. Ten of Swords, Six of Swords. Moving on, leaving. Yeah, he feels like it's coming to an end. This masculine feels like this. All of this is just sad as energy. This is about his feelings. He's in his King of Cups energy. He's very much so in his feelings about something. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. He has emotionally, I feel like he's emotionally checked out of this connection. He's ready for it to just kind of like die out. Could be walking away. This karma could be a Leo with the strength card here. But I'm getting somebody's extremely greedy. The devil and the queen of pentacles could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But I'm hearing that's all she talk about. All she talk about. Um, I feel like all this masculine is pen. This masculine's attention is somewhere else. Could be on uh, another female with this Queen of Cups here. This karmic here wants to compete, and that's all she talks about is other the other party in the situation. This masculine he sees the money, he sees the benefits out of it. But I'm hearing it's a lot of it's a lot that go into this. Okay, it's a lot that go into it. This masculine don't want to move right now because he knows it's going to slow down his money. So he's not very financially stable. This karmic is very much so taking care of him, helping him out with his finances. I'm definitely picking up on Leo. I'm getting the passion is no longer there. 
Miss Masculine feeling like he has to make something shake real quick because something's not working. Um, something's not working. Yeah. He knows that if he tells her this, um, she's going to get extremely upset. And he don't want to deal with that. He don't want her telling her friends all their business and putting him out. He don't want to deal with that right now. He's so sad. Yes. Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. He's, he does not feel very confident or feel good about the relationship anymore. About where it's headed. I'm here always asking for something. Yep, and he's tired of having regrets. <coughs> I'm hearing the karmic always talking shit about somebody. That's what I'm hearing. She always talking shit about somebody. That's why I stay to myself. Yep, that's what I hear. He said he's tired of this karmic talking shit. She always talking shit about somebody. Yep, he's tired of all the back and forth. He's tired of going, going back and forth all over the place. The relationship is actually... He's saying a serious, being in a serious relationship is too stressful. He said when he say something, it don't ever get nowhere. It make him think that all he all she talk about is keeping him in check. Mm -hmm. That's all she talk about is keeping him in check. Mm -hmm. It's making him feel very depressed. Um, but he's trying to keep going. I'm not going to lie. He's, he's trying to keep it moving. But He's in love with two females at the same time. So he could have some love for this karmic, but he's his mind is elsewhere as well, too. I feel like he loves this karmic for for the reasons that he loved her for. But I don't feel like it's genuine true love. I feel like it's because of what you can do. This masculine is realizing that things need to end, but he want to go back. He got somebody that he wants to go back to, and it's Divine Feminine. Okay? It's Divine Feminine. But he, it done took so long for him to, like, I'm getting like, y'all haven't been in communication that much. But he said, then they, they're going to, she's going to talk shit about that. And then she find that, find that out. It ain't going to be no perfect. It's not going to be perfect like how he wanted it to be. And this masculine is trying to keep up some type of image. But he he wanted to be in a relationship somewhere else. But he can't tell her that right now. He can't tell her that right now. He want to be somewhere else and he cannot tell her. Yep. I'm hearing it's not that serious. Okay, now with the lovers, why is the lovers here? Real love. Okay, love at first sight. I'm hearing it's not that serious if it's love at first sight. That's what I'm hearing, love at first sight. And if you comfortable, but this masculine is lying. Because he's been cheating. He's been cheating on this karmic the whole time. Dude. Three, three, three. He's been cheating. He could have had three people that he could have been sneaking around with. But the number three is definitely sticking out. I'm hearing, um, ever since we started talking, I ain't give you to run around like I did everybody else. Okay, so this masculine is telling this karmic a bunch of lies. Because he's been running around cheating. 
<laughs> the whole time. Yep, so see, him asking her to do stuff for him is starting to give him a headache because it's making the relationship stressful. It's like every time he asks for something, she feels like she has to get something in return. Okay, so the karma can say, I'm not giving up nothing else until you give me what I want. It ain't free no more. Okay, it's, not, it's no longer free. It's no longer easy. She done started making the connection a little more difficult. All right, so that's what I got. I'm masculine over the sad, baby. He over the sad, sad, sad. Let me pull some um from the romance angels. Let's see what, what we got. See, this masculine want to go back to somebody in, from his past that he still it has this attraction to, that he's still attracted to. He still has this, this um, attraction towards divine feminine. The situation he in now is just unrequited or the situation that y'all was in was unrequited because we got unrequited and let go of control issues and then we got worth waiting for. I feel like this is you guys' divine feminine and divine masculine connection. Like the situation was just unrequited. It wasn't enough chemistry to keep it flowing and going. So y'all had to let each other go. But still kind of waiting because we got worth waiting for. Still kind of just waiting it out. If it's meant to be, then it'll be type of energy. Release your ex. Yeah, he had to let, he had to let, he had to let Divine Feminine go, or you had to let Divine Masculine go. But I see somebody coming back around for forgiveness, forgiveness okay? He's going to be using his friends to try to get close to you, whatever. But I feel like it's going, it's a, a waiting period here. It's a waiting period here. He wanted to get this karmic a chance. He wanted to see what else but what else is out there. Because he felt like he could trust her. They talk a lot. They they have heart to heart conversations. And this this was going on while y'all were in like during the separation. I don't think this could have been going on while y'all were together. Yeah, when y'all were separated. He found, he started dealing with this Carmen because we got separation and new love. Yep. So, that's what I got. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Share with your family and your friends. You never know who need to hear this. As well as like the video, guys. Check out the comment section if you're interested in booking a personal. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.